Alrighty. Welcome to my neighbor, my neighbor, ND, I think that word says. Yeah, this is a horror vision novel that I found. And that's all I really know about the game. Other than the fact that this has a little bit of a RPG element to the game. So, yeah, that's all, all I know about this game, so. Let's begin. Do you want to see the content warnings for this game? That would be lovely, yes. Game contains strong language, brief, whatever that is. Blood, death, gore, can. Um. Discretion advised. Thanks? Question mark. The only memories I have of my mother are from pictures on the wall. As I understand it, my mother left my father sometime after I was born. I don't know why, and no one ever told me. But I did create some tension in my household. Dad and my big sister Tavi used to fight. A lot. I don't even know what most of their fights were about because at a certain point I just turn off my hearing my hearing aid as soon as I heard the yelling start. I think that's something to do with Dad being too strict from the way Tabby would rant about it after. But I didn't want to get involved and I didn't want to pick sides. I love both of them and didn't want to understand why they couldn't get along. I was there and I knew the three of us we're all capable of creating happy memories together. So I didn't understand why it couldn't always be like that. Okay. At one point, the fighting got so bad. Oh boy. Oh boy. I remember hearing right before I turned my aid off. Tabby saying something like, Now I get why mom left. Oh, I thought the dad left. The mom left, okay. I didn't turn my hearing aid on for the rest of the night, and naturally took it out to go to bed later. But I ended up jolted awake in the middle of the night by Tabby. She had a strange expression on and was wearing a backpack over her shoulders. She was pushing her childhood stuffed toy into my hands and speaking to me, but of course I couldn't hear her. She must have realized that though, because she looked like she laughed a little to herself, and then sighed to me, I promised you're right. And she got up, walked, closed the door to my room. And I never saw her again. Okay, so the sister left then. Okay. Heavy ran away the night, that night, I'm not sure where. She did write, as promised. She sounded like she was having fun out there, meeting new people, doing new things. But there was never a return address. I don't know how she ever got the letter to us. I was sad I couldn't write back to her. Especially because Dad and I didn't stay in that house forever. We moved. More than once. For work stuff, for money stuff, you know how it goes. So we haven't gotten any letters since. It's been years. I hope Tabby's still doing okay. I carry on the toy she gave me everywhere. So at least she feels close. Despite everything that's happened, I still like my dad. We get along really well, and I can tell he loves me. We're always doing things like playing baseball together and going to the movies. He even plays video games with me sometimes. He's actually pretty good. Tabby always used to talk about him being strict, and I wonder if part part of that stuck with him, because ever since she left, I feel like he's been pretty loose on the reins. He even pushes me to go outside and get out of the house, even when I don't want to. Okay, learn some of the backstory. Ellie. Yeah? What are you doing? Watching TV. That's what you were doing this morning. Come on, you still have a few hours of sunlight left. 
we'll play outside for a bit. Get some fresh air. Ugh, come on, I don't want to go outside. What are the pincers out there? Pincer? Pincer? I thought you and Pincer were friends. I'm just gonna say Pincer, because I don't know if that's right or not. He used to be, but he sucks now. Hey, language. Well, he does. I'm just finishing up the paperwork. When I'm done, I don't want to see you till sit still on the couch. You can watch TV, more TV later. It's not like you're playing in hell new at your this hour anyways. I completely butchered that whole thing. Ugh, fine. Okay, move using the was. Okay. Okay, it's normally WASD, but I guess not. Arrow keys, space your entry to interact, X to open. Okay. 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 I'll move my mouse up the way. There we go. Alright. All it's on is reruns of things you've already seen before, so at least you're not missing anything. What are you doing? Paying bills. Looks boring. You don't know the half of it. It is boring. Very boring. But someone's gotta do it. That is true. What's for dinner? Not sure yet. I was gonna go to grocery shopping after this. See what I could make from there. We get, uh, was it takeout? Why? Don't you look like cooking anymore? No, I'm just like really in the mood for hot dogs. I don't think there's a takeout place for hot dogs in LA Cat. Well, there should be. Maybe you'll make one one day. I thought you were gonna be a baseball star. Oh, I didn't even think of that. Baseball stadiums are always hiding out, handing out hot dogs. Win-win. There you go. Bro, you know hot dogs are the best when they're on the grill. Changed my mind. Okay, open it. Can you help me practice baseball? Not today, but I'll plan some more time soon. Getting excited about tryouts, huh? Yeah. That's why I want to practice a lot. I gotta get in. Hey, I, I've got no idea you're gonna school all the other kids there. I hope so. Thanks. Okay, can we play video games instead? You don't want me to play video games with you? Why wouldn't I? Because I'd kick your ass. Whoa, language. I'm an adult, I can say it. When can I say it? When you're taller than me. How tall are you? Don't worry about it. Alright, last one. Dad, I miss Tabby. Ooh. Probably shouldn't have said that. Yeah, me too. Really? Ooh, okay. Probably shouldn't have said that. Look inside the fridge. There's nothing you really want right now. Okay. The oven. You're allowed to use this as long as Dad's in the room. Okay. The sink. You already put the dishes away this morning. Okay. Call for decorative play plates on the wall. They're pretty fun. The red one is your favorite. It's sort of a big leafy plant. You're never sure why adults like to decorate their homes with big leafy plants in the corner of the room. 
Surely there's some more exciting way to use this, this space. Okay, well... So we can go upstairs. Oh, to my room. The baseball themed friend sitting with his little buddy. Baseball stuff. You bring it outside, but there's no one to play baseball with. That's okay. Dad said you'd go take it to the local softball team tryouts next week. Okay. So far, I like the style of the game so far. It's pretty good. Your bed. It's cozy enough and offers you a nice view to the street. Your neighbor's house. Is there anything in the drawer? Doors are filled with clothes and some junk. Your handheld consoles are in there, but you don't really want to take it outside. Okay, anything in here? Lamp. Place of space, okay. Nothing really. Alright, let's go outside. Alright, it is pretty nice out here. It's been almost a year since we moved to this house. Unlike the others, this one, it looks like you'll be staying in for some foreseeable future. We're right down by the shoreline, which means we have sand lining the streets and palm trees in our front yard. It's pretty hard to complain about being made to go outside with the weather like this all the time. The sun's always bright and shining, but the breeze that wafts in the sea keeps I always complain about getting sand in my sneakers, though. But why would you wear s sneakers on? Okay. I question everything a little too much. Okay. Yo, I love the art artwork for this. It's time to jump rope. I press the arrow keys from left to right before the timer runs out. Yo, these are mini games. Ah. Uh... Hold on, I failed. I need... Okay. Down, up. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Alright. Okay, bro. I'm not gonna waste time. <laughs> the shells. Instead of a chunky. Yep, I think I have to. Oh boy. Well, I'm gonna fail a bunch of times, so I might. 
my jump cut. Handy. 
because it need rules. Okay. Are we fighting out here? She started it. Nuh uh. Yeah. Alright. Calm down. What's happening? Are Pinsir took my game forever ago and won't give it back. Pinsir, is this true? I was gonna. Hey, don't take my tone with me. I'll take whatever tone I want. And I swear. Should I tell your father about this? Our day's tomorrow night, and I'm not afraid to bring it up. Mm. Afraid to bring it up to him during it. I cannot read. Tell him. I don't care. You're pulling your claws out of me. Oh, I'm sure he'd love to hear this. A disrespect. Whatever, who gives a crap? You suck and he sucks too. Sorry for yelling on here, Andy. That's alright, you okay? I don't know that you're here. That forced me to come outside. Why, well, this one's still out. But I knew I'd run into stupid old pincer if I did. Wish I could just go home now. Other than that annoying thing, it's just boring on here. I got a match, match, match. I cannot read to save my life. Watch your cake inside. I can't possibly eat all by myself. Ah, oh, heck yeah! This is why you're the best. I try. Mm. Nice house. So, how was it? Everything I built it up to be here? Oh, this is so good. You like get flavors I can never, I've never even heard of before. I don't know where you find these. Happy to expand your horizons. Thanks for helping me out back there too. Mitch has been so annoying lately, like more than usual. Anytime, Emily. I can't believe your dating is dead. Ugh. I wonder if he thinks of you as like a stepmom or something. Stepmom? Goodness, you're thinking too much. You're thinking much further ahead than I am. I prefer to take things slow. Maybe that's why all the girls down by the trolling call me such a snail. Indeed, you are a snail. Oh, burn! Burn! <laughs> you can't say that. <laughs> you can't say that. I know, I know, but I don't like to think of myself as a stereotype. Besides, being a snail isn't the only reason I like to take my time with things. You do everything better when you pace yourself. If anything, more people should learn to take it slow. This is true. Everyone's so rush, rush, go nowadays. This is so true. Hurts. Rushing just causes mistakes and leaves you in a mess. Bro, she is spitting the facts right now. Ellie, are you alright? And you don't think I'm too much the kid, do you? Huh? Where did this come from? Pinscher kind of makes fun of me for it. You know, playing with toys and jacks, carrying up, carrying this old stuff, toy around. And, I don't know, hearing you say what you just did, it's like part of me wants to be a grown-up already. But also, is it okay to, you yeah, know, take a little extra time getting there? Oh, Allie, of course. Everyone goes at their own speed. And even when you do grow up, it doesn't mean you have to stop being a kid at heart, either. I mean, just look at me, for example. I like plenty of things one might call childish or even silly. Really? I wouldn't have guessed that. Like what? Well, for one, I have cake in my house much more often than I should. And I keep every gift I get, regardless of how childish one might think they are. Stuffed toys, little figurines, I even keep the packages that are pretty enough. 
I still remember one of my favorites being a little gift bag with a smiling clown on it. Smiley clown. Do you get lots of gifts, Indy? Well, I don't want it to sound like I'm bragging or anything. How come I never see him around that? Oh, I have, I have them all stored away for safekeeping. It'd be too messy if I display them all. In this way, I know they're safe. But I hope you might feel comforted in knowing that. Even grown-ups still like, still like all the same fun stuff kids do. We just tend to hide it more, that's all. You know, that actually does help me feel a little better. Thanks. You're really... Allie? Okay. Thanks for being my friend. I wish I was more like you. You know what? Let's just keep it simple. Oh, aren't you a little sweetie? Thank you for thinking of me so kindly. You've got a really big heart, Allie. I'm almost jealous. Oh, shoot. I wasn't even paying attention to the time. The sun's already setting. Could I, uh, get out of your hair? Normally, I'd say you can stay as long as you like. But, yes. Might be a... Might be better for me. I gotta get up early, and I still gotta make a proper dinner and take a shower. No, yeah, that's fine. I'll catch up with you some other time, Indy. Thanks for letting me hang out. As I said, anytime. That was a nice, wholesome conversation. Now everything is gonna go horribly wrong. I wonder if Dad made dinner. Bro, everything is red now, but it's because of the sunset. Ugh, what are you doing out here? Were you waiting here like a loser until I left Indies? Ew, don't flatter yourself. As if I'd be waiting out here for you. I'm on my way home, dumbass. In case you forgot, I live on the street too. Don't call me a dumbass. And stop being such a dumbass. You know what? I hope Andy does become your stepmom. Excuse me? You could learn a thing or two from her. Like how to step bullying a neighborhood bullying neighborhood girls like a big oh boy, here we go. Dumb baby. I ain't the baby here. You sure look that way to me. Always whining and crying and throwing tantrums. Anyone would think you're a bigger baby than I am. Well, until they saw an ugly excuse of a mustache. No, not the mustache. Come on. What? Hey, idiot, let go. You know, I wouldn't have to call you such a baby all the time if you just grew up already. Ooh. What the heck? What's wrong with you? I... I don't know. I don't know why I did that. I'm sorry. I... I'm sorry. But really, sorry. I... I gotta go. It's weirdo. What the heck was that all about? And he acts like I'm the one that, with the screw loose. Whatever. It's only Andy's house. Oh, back to her house. Uh, she must already be in the shower. I don't really want to wait till tomorrow to get it, but... It'll be fine. It's Indy. She'll, know, she'll take good care of it for me. I just hope I can sleep all right without it. Well. Hey, kiddo. Have fun out there? Uh, no, Dad. What's with the attitude? Cause I was right and stupid Pinsir was out there and he threw Tabby's doll into Andy's window. House. Pinsir's really got you twisted lately, huh? Want me to talk to him? Or his dad or something? Uh... No, I'll... I'll take care of it myself. 
Ha, huh, that a girl. Just be nice about it, okay? Be easy on him, alright? Or should I? He's the one that's always starting things. I know, I know, but he's going through a lot, don't you think? It's easy when your dad starts getting someone new, trust me. And I'm not defending him, he's still in the wrong. But people usually don't act out for no reason. Most of them don't anyway. Alright, I get it. I'll go be easy on him. But if he... I will try to go easy on him. Atta girl. I had a rough time falling asleep that night. I really wanted to have his old doll back. But I was eventually able to relax enough to fall asleep. I reassured myself that Andy would keep him safe and sound. Okay, why do I get the feeling that, uh, Andy, she's, um, something's not right about her. I don't know. I just have that feeling. Next morning, the first thing I did was stop by Andy's house and try to get him back. Okay, I'm in control now. Let's save. Let us continue. Indy, hello? It's Ali. I wanted to know if you found my plushie last night. Uh oh. I might have been wrong about her, and if so, I hope she didn't get hurt. Hello? Damn it. Okay, I definitely heard that. Okay, I've been enough. Oh, new side of the neighborhood. Cool. Hello. Hey. Hi. What'd you shout earlier? Tied to this boss. You're playing Calamity Heroes? Yeah. You said you wanted the game back, and I am gonna give it back. I just wanted to beat it myself first. Hey, Pinsir. Why are you so mean why are you so mean to me lately? I don't know. Is it because of Indy? Maybe. Could be. I'm uh really sorry about what I did yesterday. If it means anything. I don't know what came over me. I'm sorry too. I shouldn't have said all that mean stuff earlier. Nah, it's fine. Don't sweat it. How far in the game are you? Can I see? I'm stuck on the... Cricket? Boss fight? Bro, I feel like that, that word sounds dirty to me. I don't know why, it just does. Which stage? Did you get up to your the farm with all the eyes? Uh, I didn't even know there was more than one stage. Bro, don't you hate that in some video games? There's like mul there's multiple stages, but you don't know what the, the next stage is, and you think the stage you're on is the last stage. Bro, I hate that. It's like, come on, just end already. That is relatable. Let me see where your levels are at. Oh, you're playing as a girl avatar? Oh, uh, yeah. She, uh, looked cooler than the other protag options. What'd you name her? Hey, okay. Claudie? I like the name. It sounds really cool. Yeah, you think? For sure. Alright, sick. If you want me, if you want help being the boss, I know where to get some upgrades. Spill that, because grinding for XP isn't exactly helping. Okay, first, you're gonna wanna backtrack a bit to the cave of shadows. There's a hidden waterfall where you can get a stronger sword. After that, and 
back to town and talk to the shopkeeper. There you can buy. <clears throat> Dang. I thought we'd only get past Cricket. To think we'd get past three more bosses after. I forgot how fun the game was. Jeez, it's getting dark though. Wait, and he's lecturing on you. I can go ask for the doll back. Wait, and he's lecturing on? Isn't she supposed to have that date with Mr. Chance tonight? No way she's home that early, is she? Okay, just in case, I'm gonna save here. Cause I don't know. I'm not gonna end these door. But to my surprise, the door was unlocked and it opened as soon as I touched it. Someone broke into her house. That's the only explanation to that. Hell oh boy. I don't know what came over me. I probably should have went into a dad or something. But I guess I was just so worried about her that I went inside to look. Is this where the horror aspect of the game is going to come into play? Uh, Andy? Oh, and I hate how quiet it is. Bruh. There's some notes hanging on Andy's fridge. To do this, buy a new garden shovel. In basement. Oh god, don't tell me I gotta go to the basement. Of all things, come on. Call Reginald and see if he'd like to go out next weekend. Do not take no for an answer. That's strange. Mr. Chance's first name is Reginald. Who's she writing about then? Oh boy. Uh. Let's go upstairs. Oh god, that scared the crap out of me. Andy's wardrobe. Okay, whoever they offer no sign. Okay. Okay, when you push your hand down the mattress, you're amazed how soft it feels. Okay. I feel like I gotta go into the basement at some point. I don't know. Okay, this is her sh shower. Bathtub shower, okay. Smell like shampoo, okay. Okay, nothing in her room. Oh boy. We tend to open the door, but it's locked. Okay. Can I... Behind the store is a hall closet. It's stacked to the top of all sorts of cleaning supplies. Most still unopened or untouched. And they must have restocked recently. Okay, so I gotta find a key for that door. Doors are fine. No trace of a doll can be seen. Okay. Kitchen. Yeah, let's go back upstairs. Books. Books are fine. I'm also not your favorite way to spend your free time. Okay. Uh. Keys. Probably in here. Nice stands. Hold mostly junk. Could I use this? Receive door key. Let's go. Okay. I still don't like how quiet everything is. Oh boy. Basement, it's heavy. Okay. Oh! Um. So you remember how uh, I said I don't trust her? I had a feeling, well, my hunch might have been correct. 
I was not expecting a corpse to come outside the closet. Oh boy. Okay, first of all, good choice to leave the basement right away. Second of all, I would be traumatized too. Okay, I'm gonna save again, because I don't trust this. Okay. Alright, go. Time to go. Time to go. Time to go. You grab the knob, the door, and run home. But you hear someone... I need to hide. In the closet! Oh my god! <coughs> you dive in the wardrobe, we'll ignite the knockover, and it closed in the process. Okay, well, I might have chosen wrong. Glad I saved. Uh. Okay. Where else would I hide? Maybe the bathroom? Possibly? Oh wait, never mind. I'm screwed. Go, go, go. I'm I'm fucked. I'm screwed. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. no. Uh, uh, <sighs> Let's try that again. What about this room? Okay, yeah. You're rushing inside the hall closet. <laughs> or not. This is gonna be trial and error, baby. Okay, I need to hide. Up in the shower, and ooh, you hear the door open. Someone is in the room with you. It's kind of hard to control your breathing, but you have to try. Quick time events! Quick time events! Okay, bro. They're seriously quick time events. Are you serious? Okay. Quick time events. Okay. Go. 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 Oh, enter. Okay, okay, this is gonna be one of those games. Okay, I see you. Okay, you have no idea how long that took me. That took way too damn long. Can we go now? I thought I was home free. I was thinking my lucky stars before I was even out the door. I should have not have done that. Allie? Uh oh. Allie, what are you doing here? Did something happen? Is everything okay? 
Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, no, uh, everything is fine. Totally. I totally didn't see that, uh, uh, corpse in the basement with no head. Everything is fine. <laughs> I just, uh, came here because my doll was thrown into your house the other day. Uh, and I knocked on your door, it was open. Oh, silly me. I must have left it open when I came back home today. As for your little dolly, though, no worries. I put it away for safekeeping. I'll go get it for you. Bro, that, that, and he left the room to get my plushie back for me. Bro, the quick time events took way too damn long. Trial and error. That's all I'm gonna say. Looking back in that moment, I probably should have just left. Actually, maybe not. That might have made it worse. I don't know. She came back and gave me the toy, and after that, I should have said thank you and left. I guess I was just too nervous, I couldn't help but to keep talking. I still wish I hadn't. There you go, safe and sound. Thanks, Andy. I guess it's good you didn't go on that date after all, huh? <laughs> oh, that. I've been waiting for him all night, but he hasn't shown up. Not even a call. Cap. Uh, oh, sorry to hear that. Oh, that's all right. The night isn't a total waste. I know you just had some the other day, but I thought, but I had brought, bought a new cake for Mr. Chance and I to share. Since he's not here, you can get a slice if you'd like. Really? Uh, awesome, thanks. Here, you get the cake from the fridge, and I'll go get the nice china. Yeah, sure thing. I walked over to the refrigerator and opened the door. Well, there's his head. <laughs> there's his head. Oh, goodness. There's his head! I was wondering where that went. <laughs> I really did swear I hadn't moved here already. I suppose that's what I get for rushing. I turned my head to her and said, You kill people? Oh, honey. I don't just kill people. So remember that warning at the beginning of this video? Yeah. <sighs> she said that in such a silly way. Oh, I just thought of something. The cake? Some, uh, certain meat is uh, in that cake, probably. The kind of tone a kindergarten teacher uses when telling her students a scary story. Pulling her sharp nails out in front of me before cracking into another laugh. As if she were pretending to be a spooky witch in a children's play. I mean, can you blame me? Mr. Chance was such a handsome man, and so polite with me, too. He wouldn't want to eat him right up. Though, he was a bit of the jealous type. If he found out he's not the only day to wind up like this, I think he'd have been a little upset. I wish I could feel like that sometimes. Jealous. It mean I'd have a connection I really care about. I mean, I'd rather be jealous than be a cannibal, okay? There's a difference. There's a huge difference. Like, you and I, we're close, aren't we? When you told me before, thank you for being my friend. That felt really nice. It must feel a lot lighter to love with your heart instead of your stomach. But does it ever stay as full? 
bro, this is me right now. Why are you, why are you telling me all of this? Oh, I mean, that's just because... You're not going to tell anyone. You promised me that. to do. I would have said anything to leave. Um, what happens if I break that promise? Do you even have to ask that question? I think we all know what's going to happen. I asked her, and she just stared at me. <laughs> and then she started laughing. Oh boy. <laughs> like what I just said was really funny. <laughs> the last words I remember hearing from her were good night, Ollie. Ellie, as she gently shooed me out of her front door. We're gonna end up like that last guy. That's what we're. That's what's gonna happen if we do talk. And I walked home. Then I waddled away, and never came back. <laughs> hey, other cat. There you are. It was getting late. I was starting to get worried about you. Yeah. Sorry, Dad. I just saw a dead body in my neighbor's house, and. That's why I'm late, so just, yeah. It also traumatized me, so there's that. I was just, uh, at Indy's. Yeah, I figured. Hope Andy didn't fill you up on sweets too much while you were there. Dinner's ready. Come sit. I dare say I outdid myself tonight. What a lovely dinner. Now, this might be the thumbnail. I didn't get any sleep that night. Okay, but for real though, would anyone get sleep after they saw that? Or encounter that situation? I don't think anyone would sleep. Let's be real here. All I could do was sit up in bed and stare across the street at Andy's house. As if waiting for something to happen. Like I'd hear her walk out the door and start making her way towards my house. It didn't happen though. Eventually the lights in her house went off. But I still didn't go to bed. I just sat there and kept watch. And stayed that way until morning. And all honestly all honesty, I do not blame them for uh doing that I really don't if we're hoping for some gruesome end of the story like her coming after me or my father or something you'd be sorely disappointed I kept my promise and she left me alone and nothing ever happened to her either when, when Mr. Chance was declared missing she allegedly told the officers that he never showed up for their date. And I guess she cleaned up really well because I didn't see them bother her again after that. The Chong's kids ended up being taken in by their aunt down the block. And eventually Mr. Chong's case went cold. I hope he's not mad at me for that. I'd like to think he'd understand. I don't really see Andy after that either. I didn't want to. That's a good thing. When I came to things like babysitting, I told Dad I was too old for that now and could stay home alone. When he would ask me if I had visited her lately, I would sometimes lie and say I did, so he wouldn't think anything was weird. I wonder if she ever told him otherwise. I guess I'll never know. 
three years later. Hey, we made the, the team. That's cool. That brings us to today. Penny doesn't live here anymore. She hasn't for a while. I'm not really sure where she went. I remember some moving trucks in front of her house one day. She left for them, and that was that. She didn't live here anymore. And no one else ever moved in either. That was just the old abandoned house on the block. I won't be surprised if neighborhood kids started staying, staying in Tonto. It might as well be. I still haven't told anyone. I promise I wouldn't. And there's some part of me that feels like no matter where she is or what she's doing right now, she'll know if I break it. Ellie! Buddy, hey, you were staring pretty intensely at, the, at Indy's old place. You're still not mad about the time I threw your dolly in there, right? Come on, babe, I apologize for it like a bazillion times now. Huh, no, 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 we're cool with that now, I swear. Okay, good. I was just coming to you because me and the other girls were heading to the arcade. We wanted to invite you. But I see you've gotten all your gear on, so if you're too busy with practice or something. Uh, yeah, I can come. I could use a good trip to the arcade. Sick. Let's go. I don't know what happened to Wendy. I probably never will. And I think I'm okay with that. I think it's better if I never know. It's certainly been easier to breathe ever since she left. Despite all the mental scars she left me, left with me, I've been doing okay. I've got a pretty alright life. And I'm trying not to feel guilty about enjoying it. When I think about Andy, I always remember that thing she said. Something about loving with your stomach instead of your heart. I hope that, for the sake of others, at least, she learned some way to keep them both full. Normal ends. Ooh, so there's mul there's multiple endings to this? I didn't know that. Ooh. Interesting, I might have to do another video on this game. There's multiple endings. I gotta say, this was a pretty good game. Well, there you go, guys. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe, if you don't post notifications on, so you never miss a single video from me, and yeah, if you wanna check out my main channel, that will be in the description below for see my FNAF and uh, more content, but apart from that, yeah. It from me. I will see you in the next one. Peace out.